Hello and welcome to my channel, Cotty Rebel 9. This is episode 1 of a brand new series of my favourite weapons in Battlefield 3. First, a little history of the L85A2. The L85 is a rifle variant of the SA80 design. Since 1987, the L85 has been a UK standard issue service rifle for the British Armed Forces, replacing the L1A1 variant of the Belgian made FNFAL. There is also a support weapon of the L85, the L86 LSW, or light support weapon. The ballpup appearance of the L85 is similar to another weapon, the EM2 Enfield, as seen in Call of Duty Black Ops. However, the internal design is different. Countries that currently use the L85 are Bolivia, Jamaica, and it's also issued to Sierra Leonean Special Forces. To unlock the L85A2, you must first unlock the FAMAS, which I will go into in another video. Once you have unlocked the FAMAS, you must then get 100 assault rifle kills, 20 kills with the underbarrel grenade launcher, and also win 5 rounds of squad deathmatch. I strongly recommend you assemble a squad to help you achieve this assignment, as it is very difficult to win squad deathmatch running solo. Running along the screen below is the various accessories you can unlock with the L85A2 along with the required number of kills needed to unlock the various attachments. The magazine size of the L85 is 30 rounds, however your starting ammo is 31 rounds with 124 rounds in reserve. The maximum ammo you can carry in game is 217 rounds. Reload time is between 2.5 and 3 seconds and the rate of fire is 650 rounds per minute. You have 3 fire modes, full auto, Three round bursts and semi automatic. Okay, enough of the history and the specs of the gun, now let's go into why I like this weapon. What I find good about the L85A2 is I find it quite very easy to handle and it's not too bad at long distance shots as well. However, when you do try and fire at long distance, it does take um, quite a few extra hits to take a guy down. The attachments I normally use for the L85A2 is the standard attachments I use on pretty much every one of my guns apart from the sniper. I use the reflex sight with the grip and the laser sight as well. I find this the better combination of um, accessories, particularly if you're playing Team Deathmatch. Simply because the maps on Team Deathmatch are very small and close quarters and because of that using various uh, scopes isn't really um, an advantage, true advantage, not unless you have a big open space that you can take advantage of. Unless you're using the ACOG, but it's something I don't really recommend. Another scope I like to use on this game is the IR scope or infrared. Sometimes it is hard to see people in this game, particularly if they're hiding in the shadows. That's where the IR scope comes in. You'll be able to see them. The L85 also has very good iron sights. Because of this, it won't take you very long to unlock the first scope attachment. What's also good about the iron sights are, is that when you aim down the sight, you still have a good field of vision. If you struggle to hit the target, no matter what scope you use, don't worry, just do what I do, and just lob a grenade. nice. The rating I would give the L85A2 is a very good 9 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed episode 1 of this brand new series, my favourite weapons in Battlefield 3.